everybody! I am Met Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. Today's video, we're continuing on with our Dimensional Analysis Math for Med series and we are going to be doing Safe Dose Range. So what is Safe Dose Range? We want to know the minimum and the maximum amount of a medication we can give so that it's therapeutic. So we don't want to give too much, right, because that would be toxic, overdose, but we also don't want to underdose the medication either because then it's not really doing anything, is it? So safe dose range kind of tells us what's the minimum and what's the maximum. So let's get into our first problem. The recommended dose of medication A is 1 to 5 milligrams per kilogram per day in two divided doses. Your patient weighs 90 pounds. What is the safe dose range per dose? And then it's also asking us to round to the tenths place. So we're going to do that. So this is actually two separate equations because one is for the minimum and one is for the maximum. So let's start with the minimum. So that's our one. So we have one milligram per kilogram per day. And then we have a child or a small adult that weighs 90 pounds. So what do we need to do? We need to convert our kilograms and our pounds. So one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. And then our patient is 90 pounds. So when we do this, the kilograms cancel out. The pounds will cancel out. This leaves us with milligrams over a day. And then you punch it in, you do the math, and you get 40.9, but we're not quite done, right, because this is per day and it wants to know per dose. So it's telling us it's two divided doses. So we need to divide this by two, and then we do it, we get 20.45, but we're rounding to the tenths place, so it's 20.5 milligrams per dose. So that is our minimum. So let's say doctor orders, you know, 17 milligrams. Are we going to give that? No, because that's not within our dose range, right? It's not safe. Now let's do the maximum. This is our five, and we set the problem up exactly the same way. So it's still milligrams per kilogram per day. We still have to use our converting factor and our patient is still 90 pounds, that hasn't changed. So all this stuff will cancel like it did before in the top part. We'll still end up with milligrams per day. And then you punch it in, you do the math, and you get 204.5. Get it in there, okay? Um, and then we need to divide that as well by two. So then we get 102. 0.3 milligrams per dose. And then this number is not a nice, you know, 204.5. It's like repeating a lot. So when you divide that by two, you get 102.3. So this is our maximum. So let's say, for example, doctor orders a medication, um, medication A, and it's 70 milligrams per dose. Is that within our range? Yes, because our lowest number is 20, and our highest number is 102, and 70 is in between that, so that's okay. That's a safe amount to give. So let's do another one. Okay, let's do another one. So we have an order for medication B, 35 milligrams IM stat. The recommended range is 1 to 3 milligrams per kilogram Q, 4 to 6 hours. The patient weighs 20 pounds, 4 ounces. So we want to know, is the order within the safe dose range? And they're telling us to round to the tenths place when we do it. So for this one, we're actually doing three equations. The first of which is we need to convert these ounces to pounds because we can't do the math like this. So one pound is 16 ounces. Our little one weighs four ounces, 20 pounds, four ounces. So the ounces will cancel, and this will give us 0 0.25 pounds. So our patient is now 
1.25 pounds. And we're not going to round yet. You want to round to the tenths place when we're all done. This is very important because obviously this is a child and we want to be very safe when we give meds to a child. So we don't round until the very end. That is the appropriate way to do that. So we have 20.25 pounds. Now we can actually do our safe dose range. So we'll start with one milligram per kilogram Q4 to six hours. So this will be our minimum. We have to do our converting factor of kilograms to pounds. And then our patient weighs 20.25 pounds. So our kilograms will cancel, our pounds will cancel. That'll leave us with milligrams over Q4 to six hours. and then we get 9.2. So this is our minimum, okay? That's our minimum value. Now let's do our maximum. Same equation, except now we're using the three. So it's three milligrams per kilogram, Q four to six hours. Still our converting factor. And then our patient is still 20.25 pounds. So kilograms cancel, pounds will cancel, milligrams on top, Q four to six hours on the bottom. Punch it in, do the math, and you get 27.6. So this is our maximum. So this is our range, okay? So 9.2 to 27.6. And what is our order for? 35. So is the order within the safe dose range? No, it's too high, right? It's beyond our maximum. So we need to call the doctor and get this changed. Let's do another one. Okay, let's do one more. A doctor orders 250 milligrams of a medication, medication C, to be taken by a 26 pound child. The label shows 20 to 80 milligrams per kilogram per day as the appropriate range. Is the doctor's order within the range? And they want us to round to the tenths place. So let's do our minimum and our maximum. So we have 20 for our minimum, so 20 milligrams per kilogram per day. And we know that our child weighs 26 pounds and we need to convert kilograms to pounds. So we'll set it up like this, cross off our kilograms, cross off our pounds, that leaves us with milligrams per day, and we get 236.4 milligrams per day. So this is our lowest range we could possibly get, okay? Now let's do our highest range. To do that, we're gonna take our 80, and we're gonna set it up the exact same way. So 80 milligrams per kilogram per day. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds, and then our child weighs 26 pounds. So our kilograms will cancel, our pounds will cancel. This will leave us with milligrams per day. Punch it in, do the math, and it's 945.5. So this is our range. So this is the minimum amount we can give for it to be therapeutic, and this is the maximum amount we can give. And so what's our order? 250. Does 250 fall within this range? Yes, yes it does. So this is a good order, it's appropriate, we can give this med. So that was my video on safe dose range. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.